Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on algebraic fractions. In this video, we'll be looking at undefined fractions. So let's look at definition first. Um, a fraction is said to be undefined if the denominator is equal to zero. And also, a fraction is said to be zero if the numerator is equal to zero. So we now bank on this to solve some problems on undefined fractions. So we start with problem one. For problem one, for what value or values of x is the expression 2x plus 7 over x squared plus x minus 20 a not defined b equals to zero. So starting from A, the expression is not defined if the denominator is equal to 0. So we now equate the denominator to 0, which is x squared plus x minus 20 is equal to 0. We go by factorization. We are looking for two factors of negative 20 whose sum is positive 1. Positive 1 being the coefficient of x here. So we are going to have positive 5 and negative 4 since 5 minus 4 gives positive 1 and uh, 5 times negative 4 gives negative 20 so we have our factors here as x plus 5 x minus 4 is equal to 0 so we know x plus 4 is equal to 0 or x minus 4 is equal to 0 if we solve the two linear equations we have x is equal to negative 5 or x is equal to 4. These are the values of x for which this expression is not defined. So we go for the b part of the problem. The expression is equal to 0 if the numerator is equal to 0. So we equate the numerator to 0 and solve. So that we now have 2x plus 7 is equal to 0. Taking this 7 to the other side, we have 2x is equal to negative 7. Dividing both sides by 2, we have x is equal to negative 3.5, which gives the value of x for which this expression is equal to 0. And that's all for problem 1. We then go to problem Two. For problem 2, simplify 2n squared minus 9n plus 8 over 4n squared minus 1 and state the value or values of n for which the simplified expression is not defined. So in our solution, we are going to factorize the numerator and denominator, get what cancels what, then we get the first part of the solution. From the first part of the solution, we get the second part of the solution. So from here, we are multiplying 2 by 4 to give us 8. We now look for the two factors of 8 whose sum will give us negative 9. So the factors are negative 8 and negative 1. So our factors are going to be um since we have negative one and negative eight i attach the negative one with two n so that the first factor becomes two n minus one and the second factor is negative eight i divide the negative eight by two to give me negative four then the second factor will be n minus four then over this is difference of two squares since four is a perfect squared n is a perfect squared one is a perfect squared square root of four is two so we have it as two n minus one into two n plus one you can see from here the two n minus one goes with two n minus one so the simplified expression now becomes n minus four over 2n plus 1. This is the simplified expression. So we go ahead to look for 
the value or values of n for which the simplified expression is not defined. So the simplified expression is not defined if 2n plus 1 is equal to 0. Solving this, we have n equal to negative 1 over 2. Remember, if you take this positive 1 to the right hand side, you have negative 1. Dividing both sides by 2, we have our final answer as n equals negative 1 over 2. And that's the end of solution to problem 2. This is the highest we can take in this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and share this video. Also remember to check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on algebraic fractions. Until we come your way again, goodbye.